Hey, this is me after recording the video. Um, just a quick note before the video starts. Uh, the first half of the video is going to be showing you how to save big structures. The second half is going to be showing you how to move structures between different worlds. Um, you'll understand when you watch the video. This is just a quick message, uh, just in case you need one and not the other. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. What's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a few things with structure blocks that you can't normally do. Now, if you've ever messed with structure blocks before, um, or if you haven't, quick explanation of them, you can save structures. So if I wanted to save this tree, I could save it, let's say as A, take another structure block, put it here, go to load, A, and then load it, and I loaded my tree. Now, what I'll be showing you how to do today is how to move these between two different worlds. So if you had a structure, let's say a house on one world, and you wanted to move it to another one, I'll show you how to do that. And as well, with a structure block, you can't save, let's say, 100 by 100. It defaults to 64 by 64, but you can uh, actually do things like this. Now, if you see here, this is 250 by 250. You can set it to whatever size you want, but the fact of it is, is you can save big structures. And then as well, you can move these between different worlds as well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Now, there is going to be one thing you need for this. You're going to have to be on Windows 10. I'm, I think there's a way to do it on uh, mobile. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to be showing you how to do it on Windows 10. And we're going to need a program for this. Now, this program is called Universal Minecraft Editor. I have it open here. Um, I was do I had it open because I needed to do this structure block. But um, yeah, we're going to be using this program here. I will link a download to it in the description. But uh, yeah, so you're going to want to download it. I would recommend watching this video first and then uh, playing it again and then doing it if you need this. But um, yeah, so let's get into it. So you want to first um, get a normal structure block. So I'm just going to put these uh, two away and then give myself a structure block. So like this. Now, what we need to do is we need to place it down, and then we can get rid of this one. There is a difference um, between these two now. What we need to do is pick block this, but save the data. So we need to pick block it and have it say plus data. All you have to do is press and hold control while you click pick block, and it'll keep the data on it. What this does is it actually has the size in it saved, and we can edit the value once it's saved. The other one didn't. So once we have our structure block, I would recommend leaving your game. And then what I would say is if you don't already have your world named something kind of different from the rest, so it's easy to recognize, I would do that. I just name this big structures because, you know, why not? It's easy to recognize. Um, and once you have it named something that you'll be able to recognize, or if you already have it named, you're going to want to open Universal Minecraft Editor, click on Windows 10, it'll bring up a world list, and then you want to find your world. So I have, as you can see, 552, so it's going to take me a second to find mine. Um, so go ahead and find yours and I will be right back when I get mine. All right. So I found mine. It's right here. Um, that's the one thing I don't particularly like about universal. It's good for everything else. It's just worlds aren't in order, but it, it is what it is. Anyways, we're going to open our world and then go to players. I'll go full screen so you guys can see it better. Uh, and we're going to go to local player. If other people have joined your game, you're going to see a lot more stuff here. But local player is always at the bottom. So just scroll down and you'll see this. Uh, once we have this, we're going to double click it. Go to inventory, which is player's inventory. I have my structure block in my first slot um, just for convenience. Uh, yours may be somewhere else in the inventory. But I would recommend having it in the first slot just to make it easier. And seeing as mine's in the first slot, it's the first folder here. Just going to open this. And then, as you can see, structure block. And this is what I was talking about earlier when I said you wanted to pick block it with the data. We have this folder here, which is tag, which the original structure block wouldn't have. So, anyways, we're going to open this. And then we have all of our stuff here. Now, all we're worrying about right now is the size. So, I'm just going to set this to, I don't know, we'll do a big number. I wouldn't recommend this. I'm just going to go to 1,000 by 1,000 because I can. Uh, my Y, I'll just set it to 10. One thing to note, you cannot change the size once you've loaded it back into Minecraft. Like, you can't change it in the structure block itself. Otherwise, it will go back to 64 by 64. However, you can change the offset. So, we don't have to worry about this here, for instance, if we don't want it. We can always change it later in game. 
but simply once you've changed this all you have to do is click save now you cannot save it if you have the world currently open or if you have it open in your files if you're messing with anything uh, like that it'll give you an error don't worry just close everything you have it opened in don't close the universal uh, otherwise you can lose your stuff but uh, close everything you have the world open with and then try saving again and it should work anyways uh, once we're going to load back into the game now uh, I flip here um, yeah it my position didn't change don't worry about that but we have our structure block here and it is how we edit it to be so if I open mine uh, as you can see it's a thousand by a thousand uh, again it's obnoxious you wouldn't really want something this big um, but I can go and change the offset like I said I can do whatever here so if I want to make this, let's say, I don't know, 10 blocks down, I can. And as you can see, it worked. Um, however, if I were to change this, let's say I wanted to make it, um, even if I did a number that's in the boundaries of 64 by 64, if I change this, it'll change my other value. So that's why you want to change the size um, in universal over here and get it set to how you like it. Um, but yeah, so that's how you're going to want to do any big structures. And uh, like I said earlier in the video, I'll be showing you how to move structures between different worlds. So let's get to that. All right. So this is a part of the video where I'm going to be showing you how to move structures between different worlds. Now, I built um, a small box or if you want to consider it a house, sure, uh, just for demonstration. Um, but obviously, you would have some purpose and some structure you would want to move. Now, if it's bigger than 64 by 64, uh, you can use what I showed you earlier in the video um, to make it bigger. But yeah, so you're going to need a structure block, as you may have assumed. It can just be a normal one. It doesn't have to be anything special. Uh, put it by your structure and then put a name for it. I'm just going to name mine Test Move because that's what came to my mind. Um, and then we're not actually going to click Save and we're not going to go to 3D Export. You may have assumed that. But we're going to just click export right here. Now it'll bring up file explorer. Pick a folder you want to put it in. Uh, I just put mine in my downloads just because it's temporary. And then I move it somewhere else. So I'm just going to export mine here. Now what we actually are going to need is a behavior pack. Now if you already know what these are or you're, you have one, um, you can just skip a little bit in the video. If not, this will only take a few seconds. So what we're going to need to do, open up a, open up a browser, uh, and then you want to search Vanilla Behavior Pack Minecraft or something of the sorts. Basically, we need to get to this link here. Scroll down, and then we need this here. So when you click this, it'll download the Vanilla Behavior Pack. Um, we don't need everything in it but it ended up in my downloads because obviously that's where they go. Uh, I'm going to open this, and I'm just going to put everything in my downloads folder for now, uh, and then we'll move it to uh, com.mojang in a second. If you don't know how to get there, I'll show you. But basically, all we need is this little file right here called manifest.json. I'm going to copy that, and then, like I said, I'm going to do it all in my downloads and then move it after. So you just need a new folder. You can call this whatever. I'm just going to call this... Uh, video structures there we go uh, it doesn't matter how you spell it whatever so you do this and then we're gonna paste the manifest in here we'll get to that in just a second we need a, another folder in here called structures this does matter how you spell it um, and then once we have that we are going to put our structure in there mine again I just named it test move but you can put it in here you can put as many as you want in here um, and yeah, once we've done that, we need to open our manifest.json. And then you don't have to worry about everything this says. What I'm going to do is delete this dependency down here. And you can delete um, all this. Make sure you get rid of the comma here. Now we have this stuff here is what we need. You can change the name of your pack here um, to whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Uh, the description, same thing. But what we do need to worry about is the UUID. So I'm going to go back to Chrome and then I'm going to just type UUID generator and then, or I already have the link, but it's UUID generator.net. Uh, from here, we're going to come over here, type in number two to get two UUIDs. We copy one of them and go back to our manifest. 
replace this first one there we go and then we want to replace our second one so once we have that copied we can go all the way over here paste it in and then if this happens uh you want to just make sure it looks like this in the end it's just a bunch of spaces but um yeah we're gonna save our file you know you'd go file save um and then we're gonna just close it out so like i said we need to actually have this in com.mojang which is over here and then throw it in behavior packs but not all of you um necessarily know how to get there so what we need to do to get there type in windows search type in percent app data and then percent that'll bring up this folder good app data local and then we want to find uh packages which is down here and then it's going to be Microsoft dot Minecraft, which they it can be a little bit hard to find, but um, I can show you it's here. So I'll come back to you once I find it. All right. So I got mine. It is right over here. Microsoft dot Minecraft. Don't worry about the extra stuff on it. Anyways, we need to open this. Go to local state games, and then we have com dot mojang. Now, once we're here, it's the same as over here. I just have mine pinned. Uh, we're going to want to go to behavior packs and then paste our behavior pack here. Or you could make it here. Honestly, I'd recommend making it here. It was just easier to do it uh, over here for me and move it. Anyways, once it's in here, uh, we have our structures manifest. We're good. All we need to do now is restart Minecraft. So I'm going to close the game, open it back up, and then... It's just simply going to be a behavior pack that we're going to apply to a world. Um, you can move as many structures as you want with this. The size doesn't matter. I mean, the bigger it is, the more space it's going to take up on your computer, but they're not going to be that much. Biggest size moved is probably 100 megabytes, but it still works fine. Anyways, I'm just going to create a new world. You can do this on an existing or new world. Uh, I'm going to set it to creative and then just turn on cheats uh, and then go to behavior packs. And then this is a pack that we just made. Again, you would probably put a sensible name. I put this as an example, but um, yeah, we're going to create our world. And then from here, all we're going to need to do is grab a structure block. So I'm going to give myself one just like this. And then... Uh, to actually find the name of the structure, if you forgot, like I did myself, you would just go into your um, a behavior pack, and then it is actually the name that's here. That's how you can change the names of the structures as well by just renaming this file. But mine is named test move, so all I have to do, type test move. Actually, no, I have to go to load. There we go. Test move. Here we go. And as you can see, it recognizes that it is a valid structure. I click load. And there we go. I have my beautiful house. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I was just showing how to make big structures and move them between worlds. They do go hand in hand. That's why I did it in one video. But um, yeah, uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. If it helped you in any way, you know, you could uh, like it as well. <laughs> um, but if you want to support what I do, uh, just subscribe. Helps a lot. But yeah, that's going to be it for me for today. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.